Greetings. We're doing Nunchuck Showdown, the instructional version. So I'm going to talk us through it, and I want to explain the basics before we get into the actual kata. First, there are four moves, and there's a couple ways to do a couple of the moves. So the first one I want to show you, we're going to be holding it in our armpits. And the first move is to shoot the nunchuk out. And you can push them out and down to knock the guy down to the floor before you hit him on the way up, lift him up. Or you can punch them and try to make the nunchaku flip over and continue going to knock into him, pushing him back instead of pushing him down. That looks a little more like this. It sounds a little different. rather than just a push and a pull. Okay, two different versions of the same thing, um, but with different effects. Next, we do some swings and you'll see people circle them up or spin them down. Okay, that's just an option, it's a style thing. When I have one nunchuck, I use the circles as a, as a cheat, as a crutch. It's harder to change perfectly and put the nunchuck right where you want it from the beginning. So if you're not quite right, the circle can fix it. Ooh, ooh, there we are. Whoa. This can get it ready to go where I want. Get it ready to go. It looks fancy. It looks like I'm doing more, but I'm actually giving myself a chance to fix any problems that might be there so that I can continue. Um, as long as the spinning circling doesn't slow you down, you can do that in the kata. But today, um, we're keeping it simple. So I'll, I'll mix in some spins just to show you that, that they can be put there. Um, also, ninja, when we learn them, we have people start holding it up near the swivel where you have more control. Okay, and life is easier. Later, you get more power holding it closer to the end. You can reach more and get more power that you can't, that you can't get from up here. I can't reach as far, I can't swing as hard as I can if I hold it down for real, okay? But this is an instructional video, and also I'm inside. Normally we want to reach way out, wha-bam, wha-bam. But when you're inside, be super careful. Maybe this is actually a good thing, I can't reach as far. I probably won't break my camera, okay? Um, two, different, two different ways to think about it. Then, the series, the main series in this kata. Four moves. I'm just gonna explain it to you, then we'll get into it. Number one, from my armpits, I'm gonna shoot them out, whichever way you do it. Lift them up. Move number two is two kicks. Hook kick, same leg roundhouse kick, set down in a front stance forward. Move number three, the front hand is gonna do four things. It's gonna do a diagonal swing. I twist my hips. It's gonna do a horizontal swing back, I twist my hips. I'm gonna swing up, I'm gonna swing down and catch it again. And then my backhand does the same four things. Diagonal, across, up, and back, with or without the spins. Okay, let's try that. There's also a little bit extra at the beginning and the end of the kata, um, but basically it's like the footwork for our Taikyoku kata. Tension, bow, ready stance. I take one set in each hand, I step off into my ready stance, and I punch, just like we do when we don't have nunchuk. The name of the kata is Nunchuk Shodan. I let go of the bottom one so it dangles. I'm gonna lift or circle it up and then flip and grab it down under my armpits. Now we're ready to do the kata. Number one, just like our taikyoku, we're gonna turn to the left front stance, shoot them out, lift them up. Two, two kicks, hook kick, roundhouse kick, land in front. Three, front hand, one, two, three, and four. For the backhand goes diagonal. Across, up, down, and catch. Same thing all the way through. We're gonna go to the right. One, shoot him out, lift them up. Two, two kicks, hook, roundhouse, land in front. Three, front hand, across, diagonal, across, up, down, and catch. Four, backhand, diagonal, across, up, down, and catch. To the front. One, shoot him out, lift them up. Two, two kicks. Three, front hand. Four, back hand. Stay here for two. One, shoot them out, lift them up. Two, two kicks. 
three, front hand, four, back hand. One more time, we're gonna key eye on the roundhouse kick. One, two, and three, four. Next, just like Taika, we're gonna spin around. Our left foot's gonna shoot over there, and we're gonna shoot him out. One, shoot him out, lift him up. Two, two kicks. Three, one, two, three, four. Four, strike, 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 strike and catch. To the right, one, shoot him out, lift him up. Two, two kicks, back of the heel, top of the foot. Three, front hand always goes first, in this cut anyway, and four, back hand. To the back, one, two, three, four. Stay here. One, two, three, and four. One last time. Kia the round has to One, two, aya, three, four. Spinning around. One, shoot him out, lift him up. Two. Three, front hand, back hand. Other side. Now, we're not done yet. Tight hip, we would be done and we just step back. But in the Shadow, there's one more thing to do. We're gonna step back, ready stance. We're gonna shoot him out. We're gonna lift him up. We're gonna twist to the left using our right hand first, and then back. So I'm gonna twist for the diagonal using my hips. I'm gonna twist back for the horizontal, lift it up, bring it down. And then the other side, left hand, twist, twist, lift, and catch. And then the final move, we shoot them out, and we flip them up and catch them. Step back to our ready stance. Attention. Bow at ease. And that is Nunchuck Shodan.